understand is that we have to know who we are. We right. have to know that we have the power and the authority yes. to, to, to cast these things out of our life. But yes. you, how are you going to cast out anything out of your life if you don't deal with that thing? That's right. If you don't deal what's causing you to give up so quickly, if you don't deal what's causing you to go off at the, go off so, uh, at the handle, yeah. you know, you got to deal with those things. You got to deal with, like I always say, those secret things, those secret strongholds yes. in our hearts that we yes. don't talk to people about. Because remember, David said, I desire truth in the inward parts. That's right. And so again, and manipulation and deception, they're all a play, but the thing of it is, do you have to give into it, or do you have to even be that person? Because some of us, quite as a cup, are the manipulators. That's right. Some of us do bring deception. That's right. You know, I remember one old mother used to say, God bless her heart, she would say that just because the devil gives you the invitation don't mean you have to open it. Hello. You don't have to open up That's the invitation. Right. You don't have to attend every argument you get invited to. Exactly. That's right. And something that my late Bishop A.A. A. Wells would say, he said, you may can't help us on TV, but you can turn the channel. <laughs> you know, and so and that's something that we have to understand. What is it that we can control, and then what is it that we're going to allow God to control? Because at the end of the day, saints, it's the it, 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 the Bible said, just the entrance of His Word giveth light. light. It giveth yeah. understanding, understanding to the simple. Because yes. this is not a hard way. This yes. is not a hard thing. All that will live godly. Don't get it twisted. Shall uh, suffer persecution. But Paul said, but even if I suffer, you're still with me. He said, but my light afflictions will work it for a moment. Now, I know I'm kind of going off on a rant here, but understand, saints, that no matter where we are in our lives, yeah. if it's up or if it's down, God will never leave you. God right. will never leave you vulnerable to the devil. It's up to you to keep yourself covered in prayer. Yes, you may yes, be right. hurting. Yes, you may be going through. Yes, he may have left you. Yes, she may have left you. Whatever your issue is, but you got to know that you know that come what may, come hell or high waters, God will never leave you nor forsake you. That's right. Shout out to Dr. O. Spears. We love you, brother. Shout out to Brother Dennis Bradley. Shout out to my crab brother from Gramlin State University, <laughs> the world-famed Tiger Marching Band, Charlie Anderson. All right, Hallelujah. Charlie. <laughs> Shout out to my frat brother, Bill Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. The Bible even teaches us in, in Acts 17 and 28 that it's in him that we live, move, and have our being. Yes. And, and in order for us to do that, we've got to yield ourselves to the things of God. Mm -hmm. and, but we got to be careful when we're going through situations yeah. of the words that are spoken out of our mouths. Uh -huh. Proverbs 18 and 21 says that the power of life and death are in the tongue. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And we got to be careful what we say. Yes. Now, now here's a nugget that I'm going to give and then we're going to go into our final question. Yes. Some people don't believe it, but many people are living under a curse uh -huh. right now. Uh -huh. And what is a curse? A curse is an invisible barrier that you see that impedes your progress to being able to manifest the things of God in our life. In order so that we can manifest the things of God in our life, we have to yield to God so that it increases our spiritual capacity. Mm -hmm. Once that capacity is actually increased, we can now receive revelation yeah. or the downloads that come from God. Mm -hmm. That's what is meant in Matthew 5 and 6 where it says, they that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Mm -hmm. God wants to fill you up. Yes. He wants to put deposits yes. inside of yes. you. But you have to first make room in your semblance mm -hmm. for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then speaking, you got to rebuke all of those things uh -huh. that, that are cursing your life. Mm -hmm. You know, so that you can shake off the, the tightness around your finances. Right. Some of us, our money has been funded for 20 years. Mm -hmm. That ain't right. When God has given us the advantage, and and in Deuteronomy he says, I've given you the, the, the power to get wealth. Come on. Now we can't get into that because we're talking about be not deceived, but mm -hmm. all of these things work together. And sin and deception are kind of like cousins. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. in many cases, people allow themselves to be deceived about certain things, thinking my actions don't have any consequences, right, and right. it leads to sin. Right. Hallelujah. That's, right. That's why you have children having sex before marriage. Mm -hmm. That's why you have grown-ups mm -hmm. having sex before marriage. Mm -hmm. And then it's like you go to the car dealership, you want to test drive before you buy. Mm -hmm. You know? You know, you know what you got after you've driven it several times. Right. Go ahead and put put a ring on it. Hallelujah. Right by the cow if the milk is free. That's right. That's the day. Deception. <laughs> Deception. <laughs> so let us be not deceived. Hallelujah. Final question of the night. Are miracles enough to make us believe for more than just a moment? My God. Are miracles enough to make us believe for more than just a moment? Mm. Most of us have at least one person in our family lineage 
who has been a survivor of cancer, mm -hmm. a survivor of domestic violence, mm -hmm. a survivor of a near fatal car accident, mm -hmm. a survival survivor of something that is, you know, detrimental to life. Mm -hmm. But but we saw them overcome it. A survivor of a, a, a life threatening surgery in the hospital, a survival of addictions, mm -hmm. a survival of, of heart attacks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the list goes on. And, and the list goes on. Mm -hmm. That is a miracle. Mm -hmm. But are miracles enough to make us believe for more than just one moment? Oh, man. You know, that that's, this is a powerful question because uh, we can all look back and reference our, our, our flag, take a flashback in our lives and see what God has done for us. And like Pastor said, give us miracles. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times what happens after a year or even sometimes after a month, how soon are we to forget Woo! what God has done for us? There how it soon is. are we to forget? There it is. And then what causes us to forget? Yes. And that's why the topic tonight is be not deceived. Be God not is deceived. not mocked. But we're so Woo! quick to forget what God has brought us from. You know how you have, you can be at your lowest in life and crying and you're seeing, you're going to see counselors. You're, you're talking to your pastor. You're crying. You're at church faithfully. <laughs> You know, and, and you're watching God uh, give you strength to come through and come out. And before you know it, you're back on top and things is going and well. And as soon as it gets better. And as soon as it gets better, you Woo! forget God. You forget about the church. You mm. forget about those who prayed you through. You forget. But what causes that? You mm. know, because the church is going to survive. 